doing some writing practice like you said you're writing so what exactly okay so hello <clears throat> good evening how are you good evening i'm good thanks for asking but about you <clears throat> great too thank you for asking as well how's the day going as usual i the special was i went to college but it was not really good because uh, i had to submit my assignment today but without uh, any kind of uh, presentation without viva they just submitted my assignment <laughs> it was really worst for me because i wasted my 3 hours there and i really don't believe to waste my time here and there <laughs> so like were you expecting a viva uh, viva presentation. presentation yeah okay so you are prepared and prepared for it oh, yeah i was didn't prepared get the chance to <laughs> exactly oh, okay. and so you and i and i will and i will have to go again uh, to college just because to uh, just because for a presentation and viva so i will have to uh, go to college for two times ah oh, okay so like there will be a presentation but then you thought today so they didn't they inform you beforehand no that... they didn't inform me about that they, uh, they informed about the submission and the viva but uh, at last uh, they deny for that Uh, okay yeah then you'll have to like go to the college twice for that yeah anyway <laughs> okay so we are meeting for the first time right exactly so yeah so i'm sonadi and i'm joining you from kolkata and i'll be your speaker for this session okay you can give me a brief introduction about yourself Hey, my name is Mantisha, and I belong to Kicha, which is located in Uttarakhand. And I'm personally mm -hmm. I'm a state's my second year, and my hobbies okay. are uh, reading, writing. I'm not a good painter, but I love to draw, and uh, talking uh -huh. to strangers just to improve my English language on uh, websites. Okay, so like even other than clapping, oh? Yeah, I talk to people, and it reduces my stress as well. Okay, that's great. Okay. Amazing, and it's been thirty. This year, this is your thirty second session, right? Yeah. Okay, so are you enjoying the sessions here? Is it helping yeah. you? Yeah, it is really helping me, and I enjoyed all my session a lot, and mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, it um, like uh, enhanced my confidence as well. Today, I was thinking about that, like because I was facing the issue with the vocab section, and what mm -hmm. happened since last two uh, two days? I was thinking about that. Uh, I'm not improving with uh, the, those words, but what happened today uh, when uh, I got the um, question in my mm -hmm. uh, typing go notes? So I was uh, thinking that to write in my notebook, and when I was writing, I I saw a little bit change, <laughs> a fine difference. before uh, like uh, before two and three days and now it was really okay. good so I, now i write uh, now i wrote well actually in a good manner so it's really good the, um, the journey is really amazing great great so like are you doing some writing practice like you said you're writing so what exactly okay so just what do you write like uh, <laughs> sometime uh, whatever the thing i have done in a day i write or sometime i read this story so i mm -hmm. can try to write this story in my words and all about the clapping go questions okay okay that's nice mm -hmm. okay i'll give you some corrections see i noticed that your english structure is good okay i all like it's what not even 5 minutes i can notice that your structure is fine your grammar is more or less fine so your mistakes are very minor at this point so okay. i think we should work on that so like sometimes it's not sometime okay so when you're sometimes. talking the way okay. you're using it it means like you know what happens at times generally you know mm. that's the word we're looking for so there you use sometimes okay. and the other thing is the usage of the and the mm -hmm. okay so do you yeah. know the difference yeah about uh, with vowels and with consonant yes so in front of uh before vowel sounds you'll be vowel. using the the yeah. and with yeah. consonant we should use the the so you had made that mistake okay. again it's a very minor issue at times you know it's a slip of tongue even i do this the 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 thing but i thought i should let you know okay. and a few plural uh singular issues so you said i am loving the session here on clapping you meant sessions mm -hmm. right you're talking about sessions on clapping go so you didn't you, yeah you i didn't said say session session okay yeah yeah, yeah. i the very very minor issues so if you are careful i think you'll won't be making this mistake okay 
thanks to inform me <laughs> yeah yeah no worries so shall we move on to the topic yeah sure technology and robots so are you are you a tech savvy person do you consider yourself to be tech savvy oh, and do you know no. the term tech savvy yeah 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 a person okay. who love uh, who loves gadgets and uh, to like take information about that that is right, tech savvy right. Uh, so I'm I'm not a tech savvy, but uh, there are some gadgets I like most, uh, such mm-hmm. as uh, a smartphone, smartwatch, uh, wireless phone. Not but least uh, my laptop. <laughs> I really love those things. And uh, okay. like smartphone was the uh, technological breakthrough, and mm-hmm. uses of uh, usage of like uh, cut, uh, cutting uh, with the idioms. <laughs> I got this idiom. I, I I want to try to in my conversation. Give cutting. me a second. cutting edge cutting edge cutting yeah yes technology like the latest technology yeah mm-hmm. cutting edge technology uh, like um, how can i explain this give me a second na huh? cutting oh, edge right. technology mm-hmm. oh shit i forget that <laughs> okay It, leave this I, 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 yeah yeah i will uh, try to improve this like uh, the meaning i know but uh, i'm just uh, forgetting what was the line actually Okay. It's okay. Then, in your okay. own words, if you know okay. the meaning, right? I know the meaning, but I'm unable to use in my sentence. Like it is little bit difficult. But the next idiom was easy. That like uh, all all the bells and the whistles. That was really yeah. easy. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'm telling you another thing that uh, smart. Mm-hmm. Uh, the my favorite gadget is a smartphone. Actually, I'm totally depend on it. And uh, mm-hmm. like uh, now, I can't really. I can't Im- imagine my life without it because. Uh, as uh, uh, like wake up early in the morning with the alarm to watching videos at night i spent a lot of time with my phone and uh, right. like uh, all the bells and the whistles of my phone like mm-hmm. it's uh, uh, it is like making my life better and easier day by day and uh, the okay. another thing is uh, i'm like uh, what can i say like mm, another thing is that like my smart like smart watch and laptop and uh, these uh, wireless earphones are also mm-hmm. very important and convenient to make my life easy and uh, this is like there has another utility of these thing or uh, yeah if i talk about some app of my smartphone that uh, like clappingo or google mm-hmm. or instagram this is uh, really important without without technology we can't use this thing as well right right okay so there's a lot of advantages <coughs> because of technology that uh, like technology has given us a lot of hmm. uh boons we can say in our life right a lot of yeah so tell me do you think are there any disadvantages that we face yeah you know, because, everything hmm. yeah technology has some advantage <clears throat> but we can't ignore the disadvantage advantage okay. because uh, like uh, uh people used to wait for the postmaster for the letters uh, and then mm-hmm. they get the information about the incident or about whatever the thing and mm-hmm. now people get the information instantly now in a minute in a second they get the information and this is not a time consuming thing or mm-hmm. now now like uh, uh, we talk about if we talk about the teenagers mostly teenagers they spend their 9 to 10 hours on the mobile phone and especially mm-hmm. they spend their time on the social media and uh, right. uh, it doesn't matter how disciplined or how how motivated you are uh, if you get a notification of your instagram and social media it has the efficiency to uh, waste the next several hours of yours right. and uh, and uh, like it is exploiting the future of the uh, teenagers and uh, it is increasing the anxiety depression or mm-hmm. insomnia there are several diseases just because of this so and there are many many disadvantages one of is like a crime, crime it is increasing the crime terrorism as well okay can you can you can you elaborate on that the last point uh, crime terrorism yeah like uh, what like is it? Uh, like we can say uh like, like uh, the people who are, who don't do the work in, in a good manner like they do you know, some negative things and by calls and by video calls they just try to blackmail the people this okay. is something crime terrorism cyber crime do you mean might be something like that right cyber yeah. crime i think cyber yeah. yeah i mean cyber is the word i think he would hear because yeah yeah cyber uh, right like that it will be better it is it will be better uh, 
than uh, this crime terrorism i think okay like i'll have to look up, look it up if crime terror i mean i have never heard of it i'll i'll look it up I got when I was searching on uh, Google, so okay, I got. Okay, okay. Then I I'm not aware of it. Then I'll I'll look it up. Then <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Okay. Okay. So tell me personally, do you feel there are any disadvantages? Like there are some things that you wish. Oh my God! Like I wish my phone did not have this feature because of this, it it you know uh, uh, dampens my progress or you know it reduces my efficiency throughout the day. Anything in your phone, your laptop, anything. Like about the usage. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that you are not in control anymore because of technology. Like uh, when I was a teen teenager, I used to uh, for I used to uh, use my phone a lot, and uh, <laughs> like mostly I was uh, wasting my time on social media just to use okay. Instagram. So and you were talking about yourself as well earlier. <laughs> I, Okay, but now, okay. now I don't do these things. But uh, uh, still, I am totally depend on my phone because, uh, like, waking up early in the morning for alarm, and now this one is clapping go because uh, I I live in in Kitcha actually, or uh, it's not a metropolitan mm-hmm. city. Here, uh, here is uh, the education and freedom scenario is regressive. If if I don't have okay. my phone, I would never learn this language. Mm-hmm. Never. never get this information the global information and uh, as i told you that uh, talking people talking with a stranger is uh, reduce my stress as well so mm-hmm. the thing is that when i talk with people so uh, when i got to get to know the information like what they think about their culture about mm-hmm. their um, like education scenario in their state in the city so this is a really good without my phone i can do this this is a, i think as i told you this is a breakthrough in the technology so smartphone is really really good for me Okay, so tell me, how did you uh, bring about this shift in your attitude? Like you know, you said you used to waste a lot of time mm-hmm. as a teenager. So how, what did happen? Like was there some epiphany or you know some sudden something that okay, from now I won't be wasting my time? How did that happen? Uh, I have only one regret that uh, in lockdown I wasted my time. Uh, I can okay. be better. I could I could be better actually if I use my time uh, my time in a better way uh, in this matter like I use my time in a, in a good manner now but I wasted my lockdown I can I could be better now so uh, the thing is uh, what happened actually I completed my BSc and I didn't got the I didn't get the uh, like admission in for MSc because of my one mistake I failed uh, wrong uh, wrong uh, wrong admission form actually <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. the, this was happened this was happened with me. and that incident uh, like uh, impact this was a really big impact on my personality and uh, okay. what happened i i saw my brother that uh, he is also changing his personality to be better in uh, for future and uh, and i read one book uh, that is rich rich dad and poor dad and after that i read another one book that is atomic habit and it changed my personality <laughs> okay i love that book too is still i i want to read a lot i want to read uh, this book again <laughs> because yeah. i read, i, I read mm. this book in hindi but now i want to uh, read in english read that's why right great and i think books like these you know you can never get you can you can never grasp the entire content of it in the first read right there's so wow. much information info, information and so much you can actually implement in our own lives that exactly. gets it's not possible to understand everything in the first exactly. read okay so are I'm, you reading any hmm? yeah me. i was reading think like a monk but what happened uh, i don't have keen eyesight <laughs> or uh, <laughs> just okay. uh, because of my reading uh, and my exam was coming my second semester exam and mm-hmm. so because of that uh, i i i thought i would read this book uh, um, after one month or after more than two months and when i ended that book now i i'm not reading anything but after my third semester i will start again reading because without reading i think i think like uh, the thought don't come in my uh, like pop up in pop in up in my mind and i don't think better with, without books and uh, lots of thing like i always start to think uh, overthink i start overthinking mm-hmm. and i 
at night when i go on my bed i think about the people what they say what they do and it's just uh, like a time waste thinking uh, like uh, so the books are really good and i'm uh, into what kind of person i don't talk to people a lot so mm-hmm. a book can be a uh, best friend of mine okay i have two questions so firstly how did you get into the re- uh, habit of reading books Mm-hmm. and second question i'll ask because i'll forget okay i have a very short attention span the second question is as an introvert how mm-hmm. do you deal with you said you like love talking to people or mm-hmm. like love talking to strangers mm-hmm. so so this is the second question like introvert okay okay, okay. so <laughs> let's get to the first question first so how did you get develop the habit of reading books i don't know it just happened when i read two and three pages of rich dad and poor dad it comes mm-hmm. uh, automatically i don't know there, there is automatically a, yeah there is no principle behind it that this uh, this was the trick that i applied for that it just uh, it come uh, automatically and uh, mm-hmm. now uh, i can read more than uh, like uh, 10 books in one month i have this kind of efficiency yeah <laughs> oh my god so when did you start reading books first like which was I the first think, book uh, first book was uh, rich dad rich dad and poor dad and i started in i think this is uh, fab and i started in last of november i think or might be october like three months four months back yeah and how many books have you read uh and just a five and uh, i think six still that's oh, yeah, like I, more I, than I one think book for a average yeah in two months four i months. read those in two months i wrote uh, read those books oh my god and now you said you're not reading because of your exam yeah. right so because of exam so do you feel that you know how come i didn't read like how come i didn't i was not into books all these years of my life do you yeah. feel do you get that feeling that oh my god i could have read so much more if i'd started earlier exactly i that's why i was saying that i have only one okay. regret that uh, i didn't use my time in lockdown i can i could be better if i uh, <laughs> if i have like read a lot of book in lockdown okay but but it's great like see now you've started and you're very young so you'll you'll have, oh my god like you have opened up a like a huge treasure of knowledge right yeah amazing okay Okay the second thing was yeah mm-hmm. as an introvert how how mm-hmm. does it happen that you love talking to strangers like uh, uh, i noticed one thing in my family and mostly at college uh, in friends always they talk about uh, like uh, like nonsense stuff always uh, like biting <laughs> okay. gossiping okay. i really don't believe in this i really don't like that kind of person to hang out uh, uh, waste time here and there and uh, but when we talk and the one thing behind it uh, i love english language not because of uh, for job for study purpose by heart mm-hmm. i love this language i really love to talk in english language and so when i talk to people so the uh, reason is only to love this language i talk okay. to people in english language and when i talk to them sometime i uh, like uh, i go, i get information about their culture so the like i don't know what's the thing uh, it just <laughs> happened automatically automatically it happened with me but the reason is english only okay so like if we had to have these same discussions in hindi maybe you wouldn't be that interested no, is that, no, is no, that no. the case no. sometimes oh. it happens like uh, the people who re- who don't un- who like unable to speak they are just beginners so mm-hmm. when, when they uh, speak one or two line in hindi and just say can we talk in hindi so i say no no it will never yeah. happen i can't speak right. in hindi with you right. like you have to at least try to speak in english right like yeah. the other person has to try to speak in english at least yeah okay okay that's really nice really interesting <laughs> Okay so you were still talking about technology right what else hmm. so do you ever think about okay so if you had the option would you is there any technology that you would like to invent you know that would help human kind is there anything that you find that oh my god if there was this thing available mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then our lives would have been so much easier as like do you ever have any kind such kind of a thought no so not something like that but i always think about uh, like uh, we should have a, 
a kind of app that we can speak or we can be better because there are a lot of stuff on the internet and mm -hmm. people always give a lot of tips so i i always say to my brother that we should have uh, a, that kind of room where if we speak a single word in hindi line then they, the people uh, beat you at the moment and the people torture you for that that's how we can learn more <laughs> You're so violent! Oh my God, beat you! And I don't know what else. <laughs> okay, so like, if somebody is wanting, like, just just to clarify, if somebody is wanting yeah. to learn English in their journey, so you yeah. can go to that room, and every time you say a word in Hindi, you Hindi. So the the app yeah. or whatever that room yeah. tortures you in some way. Like you were saying that uh, i was making mistake with da and the and if uh, on the moment when i was saying da or the when i was making the mistake on the moment if uh, you slapped me then i would never forget that incident in my future that that's, that's very violent that's... i think i'm sorry i cannot support you in this in this innovation of yours like you know if you go to somebody with this innovation plan i don't think it would be a success yeah People, I know. right <laughs> okay but it's it's very creative i'll give you that it's very i've never heard any something like that very torturous and very yeah. violent but because yeah. of because of love i think just because of i really love this package i want yeah. to spend anyhow with any kind of condition it's okay but you can be kind to yourself like you don't have to be so violent with yourself <laughs> okay okay one correction in that moment okay, yeah. mm -hmm. okay you were saying that you know um if when you when i'm making that mm -hmm. mistake in mm -hmm. that moment somebody was slack you said on mm -hmm. that moment on the on moment. That. so it's okay. in that moment okay in the moment or in that moment mm -hmm. okay 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 i'll give you some note some things you know some mm -hmm. words you just tend to mis make a mistake so mm -hmm. i am dependent on my phone not depend on my phone i'm completely mm -hmm. dependent dependent on okay yes yes and this also you make made this mistake mm -hmm. twice it reduces you said it reduce so it it, reduce. Which, it oh, reduces okay. so it is singular right Mm -hmm. whatever you were talking about it means it's a singular item and with singular we always take an s after s. the verb right oh. subject verb yeah okay. Okay. so it reduces i should say it reduces my stress yes exactly this is what you were talking about so it reduces my stress okay hmm and two pronunciation so mm -hmm. can you say this word i'll type it okay. out Huh. Give me a second. Technology. So the pronunciation is is, is technology. Technology. Perfect. Okay. You got it the first time. Okay. So there are a lot of things in English. Uh, there are mm -hmm. different syllables. You know where in which part of the word should be you should be placing the stress. So here it's technology. So. Okay. no is the second like no will is where you will be placing the stress mm -hmm. okay okay and this we use this word once insomnia insomnia it's almost mm -hmm. correct just okay. the o insomnia okay insomnia yeah. okay technology yeah. and insomnia yeah with these you know i'm writing in the chat so that if you go back to the recording you can google up these words before okay. you know for the pronunciation after this session to. after this session i will write this in my notebook <laughs> okay okay it okay. will be better for me yes yes whatever helps you the best mm -hmm. okay so tell me you know now we are advancing so much towards technology so mm -hmm. the the age of robots is already here ai and mm -hmm. robots so do you mm -hmm. think Okay, so what are your thoughts on AI? Tell me, artificial intelligence. Like, do I you don't, think? I don't have knowledge about it. Okay, okay, no worries. Robots, you know the concept of it. So, do you think with all these technological advancements, is it possible mm -hmm. that someday mm -hmm. robots and technology and AIs will take over humans? Like, they yeah. will be the. Mm -hmm. We can think like about because we have watched. Uh, a movie of uh, ashwarya and the rajnikanth robot right uh, right so 
we can imagine something like that they will uh, rule on our country i think okay our country or the world you mean oh why why right like why will they just target <laughs> indians <laughs> the entire world so do you think it's actually realistically possible like this debate is always on so what yeah, are your thoughts yeah i think i think i i will be agree with this thought that it is possible it will be possible ha huh? okay so how do you think can we prevent it and should we prevent it first of all and how do we prevent that mm, i can't say anything about it so like a uh, to speak on this topic because uh, first you have to the best basic knowledge in hindi then you will speak something in english why wait are you translating it in wait no, wait no. wait 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 no, okay no, i'm translating i don't know about uh, like uh, about the robot okay. just you just don't have the technical knowledge about this yeah. this subject yeah yeah so subject. you don't want yeah you don't have an opinion on this right that's yeah, yeah. what you're trying to say yeah okay okay so does okay tell me does the concept of robots uh mm-hmm. interest you do you think do you find it fascinating would you want it around us in our lives um like can i say about it it is still no like personally personally like if if mm-hmm. the situation like mm-hmm. let's imagine that the situ- like the technology has advanced to that level that you know how we have helpers at house instead mm-hmm. of that we have robots in house mm-hmm. you know like somebody to just fetch you a glass of water the robot is there so would you like a life like that or no. would you like that but that no, that's no, much no. technology around you because still uh, we are using the mobile phone and the washing machine and mixer machine there are a lot of example but mm-hmm. uh, with the advantage there are a lot of disadvantage too and uh, if okay. uh, uh, we imagine the life with the robot so might be there will be a lot of disadvantage as well so okay. if somebody give me the glass of the water so i will be unable uh, to uh, i will unable to get a good health i think because uh, okay. yeah yeah so this is not i think a good uh, in future for for my future as well uh, if somebody will uh, do all the work for me like uh, the, the like uh, the basic example the uh, sorry the the basic example uh, the basic example to uh, give the glass to me uh, and i will not work for that so mm. i think the life will will be worse for me as well because the health issue first right 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 like we have to keep moving we won't be active yeah. if there's so much robot like come yeah. into our life okay 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 we don't have much time uh, yeah. one more thing see like for example it reduces a similar mm-hmm. mistake you made somebody give me the water so somebody mm-hmm. is again singular it should singular. be singular if somebody gives, gives me the water yeah gives me water not the water sorry gives me water so okay so this is something you tend to make a mistake about and the the one again like even yeah. in the last time when you were talking about you mm-hmm. said the the a lot of times like you mix two one more suggestion you can speak a little more slowly okay mm mm-hmm. just just reduce the pace of your sentences a little bit okay so that you get a little more time to think about you know the 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 this mm-hmm. reduces all that just give uh-huh. your brain a little more time it seems like you're rushing to say what you want to say i it's always sort of very fast in hindi language yeah. that's why it is happening with me okay okay so it's not just english it's the way yeah. you speak okay but